Hi everybody, I just want to make a video of what how my hydroponic greenhouse did in the, this fall and winter. Well, as you can see, I kind of let the tomatoes grow out of control. So, you're probably going to hear some kids scream in the background, cartoons and all kinds of stuff going on, but uh, it's raining. So, all, everybody's stuck inside, so, yeah. Sorry about the background noise. All right, well, I'll kind of bring you guys back up to speed. On the left-hand side, I have my DWC deep water culture buckets. And on the right-hand side, I have tomatoes and pepper plants and grown in cocoa core. And this is my first year growing, growing with cocoa core. Well, I just started cleaning out the greenhouse. And this is one of the first plants I pulled out. It was one of the tomato plants that I had grown in cocoa core. And I was really amazed on how white the roots were. So. For the root, su root system, it looked really, really healthy. Well, this last spring, originally, why I wanted to try the cocoa core because I wanted something uh, easy to grow with. And uh, for tomato plants, it seemed to be a real pain. The, uh, a real pain. It seemed like I could not feed them enough. I was really uh, surprised on how, how much nutrients they actually uh, took up. It almost seemed like I couldn't feed them uh, feed them enough, and uh, what I am doing was filling up uh, gallon water jugs with hydroponic nutrient, and uh, it felt like I was feeding them every day or every other day, and it just seemed like they're really starving for the nutrients. So I guess an easy way to do it is maybe having some some type of drip system, time drip system to to feed these, but. Uh, from my experience, it, it turned into a lot more work than I than, uh, anticipated. Well, with fall and winter coming, it definitely takes a, t uh, takes a toll on the tomatoes. You can see these leaves are just really having a hard time. Plants are having a hard time. But there's the root system. And I actually end up battling a, battling a bad case of pythium root, root rot with this aroma tomato. But uh, I end up... Uh, getting control of that situation there okay if you look right here now this is December when I filmed this and I started these tomatoes in November or uh, sorry in March so they're basically about nine months old so I was uh, a little worried about this DWC well, well I was trying to say that well the spring there ended up being a lot of talk about people uh, bringing up concerns about DWC I'm able to handle the warm water temperature and causing pithing root rot and, and right here towards the end I uh, neglected these plants I, I didn't do water change for probably uh, at least three weeks maybe a month on this one um, I knew the plants were dying and I just didn't really want to spend the effort in trying to keep it alive and for a little while I was actually thinking about trying to see how long these would last in the winter time but I just I didn't have the time to, to properly take care of them properly do the water changes and stuff like that but um, these plants made it nine months, made through summer, and um, for me, DWC works really, really well. Um, they performed awesome. I got really good harvest off, off uh, all three of the DWC buckets that, that I grew with this year. And I just want to repeat what I said, said in my last videos. I ran these, uh, once the plants hit about three months old, I, uh, my, oh, sorry, I lost track there. <laughs> I kept the PPMs at 1,000 the whole time through through the end of spring, winter, and fall, and into December. Uh, pH is pretty close and average, right around 6.5. So never had uh, never had any issues uh, with the DWC other than one one of these tomatoes getting the pithium root rot really bad, and that's just because I pinched one of the airlines. And uh, by the time I realized what was going on, I had a really nasty case but with uh, using H202 I was uh, able to overcome it so D DWC is definitely for me uh, works very very well all right well here's a pic of some of the pruning that got done and there's the before picture so it's quite the quite the pruning down but there on the right hand side I just end up deciding I'm going to I let the um, tomato plants grow as long as they can there in the wintertime, but I did prune them down quite a bit. Well, here's a quick clip on my cherry tomato that I had grown in Coca-Cola. And this actually did really, really well. I mean, 
we had a ton of cherry tomatoes come off this thing <laughs> there my kids in the background just going nuts so but with the cherry tomato they did awesome the other ones eh, not so good well there's the cherry tomato with a, a little haircut actually a pretty nice haircut all right this is my pub poblano pepper that I grew in coca core and this thing kicked butt in the coca core I usually struggle growing peppers and uh, yeah this, this time with the cocoa this by far has been my best pepper plant by far really happy with it so next year definitely cocoa and the and uh, or pepper plants in the cocoa all right here's another view of the pub poblano and man I was just really excited on how well this thing did it was pretty pumped up but and I'm getting pretty tall and it's kind of weaving its way in and out of the tomato plant so this next year I'll be dedicating this the right hand side right where these are at just for my pepper plant so all right here's the other pepper plant that I grew and this is a California Wonder and it didn't really grow that big so not sure what really happened there but for me that's actually a pretty good sized pepper plant but I'm overwinter this bad boy it's actually still alive so uh, here's a quick view of my uh, one of my last big pigs that I got to harvest they ended up being actually pretty now this is probably one of the biggest problems I run into growing uh, tomatoes in my climate I'm here on the Oregon coast and humidity is kind of high and we get mold PM powdery mildew no fun no bueno so you can see certain tactic tomatoes and everything else. So as soon as this stuff happens, I pretty much make a decision. All right, time to clean it out and uh, get the greenhouse ready for next year. <laughs> All right, here's uh, the DWC out there just pruning the hell out of them. And actually, that first one there is first two are actually at a commission there. So here we got the airlines pulled out. And I'm just kind of letting the roots dry out to try to make the cleanup a little bit easier. All right, there's the cocoa core with uh, its major haircut. There, the one on the right-hand side is actually a brandy wine. So, what I was hoping for is that uh, this plant bill survives to the spring, and I'm gonna take a sucker or clone off of this and and transport uh, transplant it into DWC. And my kids are just. It can't sit still in quite long enough, so. <laughs> oh, man. Good times, baby. Good times. All right. I'm not sure why I have this clip in here, but uh, guess what? You, you, you guys get to watch it. But um, you know, like I said earlier, um, the DWC, once again, it really did awesome this year. Really, really happy. And uh, and then with Brock Hughes' help with uh, the root rot using the H202, uh, um, I don't see any reason when the, the change over to a different system. I have a small greenhouse and the small greenhouse is um, pretty difficult to be able to get a touch bucket type set up there but with the cocoa core if you had like one plant grown in the cocoa core um, probably wouldn't be too big of a deal but I think I had like three or four of these tomato plants and I had jugs lined up everywhere and every morning filling them up put nutrients in them, pH in them, PPM, all that kind of stuff and it just really ended up being a big ordeal but but with that said pepper plants with a cocoa core it seemed to be the cast me out did really really impressed so I'm pretty excited hopefully my pepper plants will overwinter and I'll get some more but I'm really looking forward to this this coming up season so this last season was awesome really awesome so um, can't wait till this year can't wait to watch all your guys videos and uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to, to watch and comment. So, all right, everybody, take care.